Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna be decorating and epoxying this 16 ounce spray bottle that I found on Amazon. Now, if you've been around with my channel for a long time, you know I've already done a spray bottle tutorial, which we did years ago with this one here. Now I have had this spray bottle for as long as I've done that tutorial, which I think is almost three years old now. And it's held up pretty well, but it's a little worse for the wear. Uh, so I'm excited to get a new one and I'm thrilled to be using some of my own products this time around on this project. So I'm going to have all the products that you see in this video listed and linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so here is my old spray bottle. You could see that the little sprayer is broken. It's been through some stuff. <laughs> so I'm much happier with this newer one that I found on Amazon. It is 16 ounces. It's got these nice crispy corners on the edge and we're gonna start with a vinyl wrap. I'm using one of the patterns from my Coveted Florals vinyl pack, which just recently restocked, but again, sold out super fast. Yes, we will re stock this in July. I'm thinking mid to late July. So I just sort of rough size this to the height of my cup and then we're going to wrap it around the cup to determine the width so I can save anything I'm not going to be using so we don't waste any vinyl. Of course trim off all those salvaged edges before we get started. As usual for a vinyl wrap, we're gonna peel back one inch of the vinyl and fold down the paper backing. This is going to act as the anchor for our vinyl while we position everything and make sure that we've got it straight. You'll notice I have about an inch of excess on the top and the bottom. This is kind of my seam allowance so that I can kind of work with things if I don't get it perfect. I'm going to apply this vinyl like I normally do with my vinyl squeegee, using the vinyl squeegee to push back the paper backing as I push down the vinyl against the cup in a, like a back and forth kind of motion to smooth everything out. And when we get to the end here, I'm going to see where that seam is and place a piece of tape to guide my craft knife while I trim the excess. Next, we're gonna take care of the excess at the top of our spray bottle here. So I'm gonna pull over that excess vinyl nice and tight, and then I will run my craft knife right along the corner there with my craft knife at a little bit of an angle. You definitely wanna make sure you have a sharp blade for this. I'm gonna repeat that process along the bottom for the bottom excess before we move on to the next step. Next, I'm gonna run a piece of masking tape along the bottom rim of our spray bottle here. And then I'm gonna use a gloved finger to apply a very thin and even coat of Wicked Stick It adhesive. I've been using this stuff a lot lately and I've told you guys it's my absolute favorite adhesive for laser foils and gold leaf. And you can use a gloved finger to do this because we're just applying gold leaf on this section so it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll know that it's dry because it'll be completely clear. And then I'm just going to lay a sheet of gold leaf right over that section. I think I used this in my tutorial a couple weeks ago, and I absolutely love this stuff in contrast with these beautiful floral prints. After you lay that sheet of gold leaf down, you're just going to smooth it out with your finger and burnish it up a little. And then you can remove the excess gold leaf off the side. I just throw that part away. I'm not going to save it because it just gets all wrinkly and weird. And then we'll remove that masking tape and move on. To finish off the top of our spray bottle, I'm going to get my three inch hole punch. Of course, you can use your Cricut to cut a three inch circle if you like. I just don't feel like firing up my Cricut and I like my three inch hole punch. <laughs> you can find this one on Amazon. I will link it down below. What we're going to do is place this over the opening of our spray bottle to get an idea of that size hole that's there at the top. 
once I have the hole indented through the middle of my three inch circle of vinyl there, I am going to just draw a circle with a Sharpie that's about an eighth or so of an inch wider than the imprint we've created. You can see here what I'm talking about. Also, I cut a circle from the section of my vinyl that was just above or in line with the print that goes along the side of the cup so that when we apply this circle of vinyl to the top, it's almost gonna look like the print is continuous. You could do that with any kind of print you wanted. That's also why I wanted to use that circle hole punch so I could fussy cut the right section of vinyl that will coincide with a print that's on the side. I'm gonna pick a side of my vinyl like along this leaf here where I could cut a slit and then overlap it to where you won't really tell that there's a cut there in the pattern. And we just cut right along there and that's gonna allow us to apply this perfectly to the top of the cup with no wrinkles because that top of the cup isn't totally flat it's a little bit angled so see how it finishes really nicely there at the slit now because i didn't cut this to the exact shape of the top there's a little bit of an overlap and that's okay that's going to allow us to really trim this up perfectly to the edge so again i'm just going to run my craft knife right along the corner of our spray bottle to trim off that excess vinyl using a very, very sharp blade to make sure we get a nice clean cut. Next, I'm gonna apply my decal. I'm just using my company logo. And I cut this with my Cricut using a brushed gold metallic vinyl. I don't remember where I got this, so I will try to find it and link it in the description box for you guys. But it is absolutely perfect to go along with that gold leaf that we put on the bottom. And I'm just applying my decal like I always do. So we measure twice, so we only have to cut once. And I used a little overhang of our transfer tape there to anchor while we apply using the hinge method. Once I got my decal on, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more gold leaf. So I took that Wicked Stick It and poured just a little smidgen in a medicine cup. And using a doe foot applicator, I'm just going to make little random dots and spots all the way around my cup in areas that I felt needed a little zhuzh, a little accent, if you will. And as soon as that adhesive dried to a clear gloss, I just rubbed a little bit more of that gold foil in those spots and then I brushed off the excess over like, you know, a piece of cardstock to catch it all and cleaned it up really nice. And now we're ready to apply our first coat of epoxy. Just kidding. <laughs> we're not doing that yet. Uh, we're going to do something that my mom would call gilding the lily. I noticed that on the seams of the corners of my spray bottle, you could see some of that stainless steel and that bothered me. So I just ran my gold marker around the corners just to add a little detail and to clean that up a bit. It's my favorite gold marker. I will link it down below. So now on to how we're going to epoxy this. So this is just a cup arm for my cup turner. I use the Bowen turners and arms and I actually just hot glued the lid of a rubbing alcohol container to the end like the flat end of this cup arm and then I taped it really, really well with electric tape and painter's tape, so it was nice and solid. So here you can see that old lid that I used. It twists on perfectly to these spray bottles and you're ready to put it on your turner. Just to protect that arm and to keep the spray bottle from curing onto the arm, I used a little piece of electrical tape down there along that edge of the arm just to make sure that if any epoxy does travel up it's not going to cure and keep this permanently connected so you'll actually remove this piece of electrical tape after you apply your epoxy much like you would do if you were not finishing the bottom of your cup you know how we place that tape and then we remove it after we epoxy this is the same kind of idea make sure you leave a little tab up there at the top so it's easy to remove and now we're applying our first coat of epoxy. I'm using my Flynn Sisters 
fast cure for our first coat today. And I like to take it off the turner just to get a nice thin coat up here along the top. You want to just keep it really nice and thin. Then I'll epoxy the remainder of my cup like I normally would. I'm using about 30 milliliters of epoxy for this first cup, and I don't think I used all. I think I only used about 20 milliliters. I'm going to let this dry for about two hours before we move on to our final coat. Just remember that your dry time may vary based on the brand and type of epoxy that you're using. And here I am applying my final coat. Before we start, I want to run another piece of electrical tape along the top here. This time I'm going to form a little bit of an indent so that the edge of that electrical tape is actually on the spray bottle, not just along the arm. So you'll have a little bit of a lip there. And then I'm going to be using our Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Formula for the final coat just to make sure everything stays bright and beautiful for a very long time. Again, I'm going to use 20 milliliters of epoxy. I'm going to run my cup down a little bit with a tack cloth before we start to make sure we don't have any lint or debris. And then as soon as I'm done applying this epoxy coat, I am going to remove that electrical tape. I let that final coat cure for about eight hours and here is what we ended up with. I am so happy with this new spray bottle. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I've been using that old one for so long and it's just nice to have something fresh and new and beautiful. I hope you guys love this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also, be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course, subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.